I think our conference level is pretty good. Um, you know, we've been we've been working for since I bought, since I've got here to show everybody that we are a good team, and uh, you know, it's finally starting to pay off with all the hard work we've put in uh, throughout the seasons, and um, uh, the fact that it's, that that we're 500 again and um, in conference, then we're, we're we're pretty happy about that right now. But we want to continue to keep getting better and keep showing the world. Anybody got asked this on Saturday too, but, or Sunday? Um, What's really the difference, some of those factors that you've seen, the difference between years past, not even necessarily last year, but years past and, and what's going on right now? Um, I think uh, we have a, you know, a upperclassmen, a lot, a lot more upperclassmen than we have a, a great group of freshmen as well. And uh, we have a deep, deep bench and, uh, you know, we, we understand what coach wants completely. So, um, you know, if we continue to keep doing what he says as far as, as, far as following the game plan and, um, trusting each other on defense and offense and keep sharing the ball, and uh, it shows I think it'll turn out and wins. Is the NCAA tournament, I know you guys focus on the present, but is the NCAA tournament something that you guys have ever just t- talk about in casual conversation or discuss at all? Um, it's always the, it's always, uh, the goal. I'm, um, you know, we got to look at the resume at the end of the year, but you know, we, you know how we are, the, the one game at a time thing. And, uh, you know, you got to try to win the rest of these games because uh, uh, we had a couple of bad losses in, uh, in a non-conference. And um, if, you, if you finish at the top half of the pack, who knows what can happen. And, uh, you know, that's what, that's what we're striving for. And hopefully we can get in there. Do you guys find yourself, like, checking your RPI and stuff and looking at your resume and stuff? I've, I thought I've heard some of the coaches mention the RPI and that we have a, a really tough schedule going on now. And uh, it's, it's, only, it's only about to get harder. And, uh, you know, we're just going to keep working at practice and, and see, see how it goes. But uh, I'm, I'm sure everybody on the team wants to go to the tournament. We feel like we're good enough, and we're just going to keep, keep playing hard. What will this weekend tell you guys about yourselves as a group, as a team? The, this past weekend or this, this, up, weekend. As this upcoming weekend? Um, you know, these are two tough teams. Uh, you know, Arizona lost, but they're still um, number two in the country right now. And Arizona State, they're, they're, they're not an easy team. Um, they're at the top of the top of the uh, league, and um, if we if we get those two games, that'll be great. But uh, we're gonna first look at Arizona State, uh, check out check out the film for them, and um, see what we need to do for them. And if we if we can take care of that win, that'll be great. And if we can take care of Arizona, that'll be great. And uh, our confidence will keep getting higher as as, as we keep winning. Is this the kind of weekend that can validate that confidence in terms of not just being above 500 conference, but being having a shot to. to I would think so because uh, these are these going to be two hard road tests, and uh, you know their 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 crowds are going to be great, and uh, we got to do it on the road. I have to play better on the road, and um, you know as a team we got to do all the intangibles to get these wins and do all get all the 50-50s and uh, make free throws and um, not get out the game plan. So uh, if we can if we can take care of these two road games and uh, stick to the game plan and just play hard, and I I, I think our confidence would be skyrocketing. Um, you know, turnovers, you can't have those on the road. You have to keep throwing the ball down on the road. You can't just take threes. And um, you have to um... – <laughs> sorry, these guys, man. Um, um, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Playing on the road, what makes it so tough? Uh, you get, like I said, you got to knock down free throws. You can't have turnovers, and uh, you have to stick to the game plan. Um, that's that's plain and simple. And uh, when when things get tough and the crowd gets loud, you have to um, uh, not try to do everything one on one and c- continue to stick with assisting the ball to each other and uh, keep trusting each other on defense and stick to the principles. And I think that that that'll be, that'll be good for us on the road. Is the road back been tough for you as a freshman house? Uh, yeah, at times, you know, uh, definitely when the, the other team goes on runs, you know, you just want to go and uh, sometimes you like make a quick response and I, I get caught up in that. And I feel now uh, that I've learned from that, I could, you know, handle the situation better when the crowd gets loud, you know, settle everybody down as a point guard of the team and uh, just stick to the game plan and continue to do uh, what we were told to do from coach. House, we hear a lot about how you're a gym rat. Um, what, what's kind of a typical day, like a school day mixed with working out? How, when are you in the gym? Can you take us through that? Um, I get in the gym uh, I, about around 7, 8 in the morning. I wake up 7, eat breakfast, it's Valley or something, and then I go and uh, 
get in the gym, get shots up before class, and then I go to class, and then uh, I'm back in the gym for, for weights and then practice. Sunday about kind of your individual confidence level pretty high because you've been playing well. What, what do you do to kind of remind yourself that there's more work to be done? Yeah, just don't get comfortable. You know, I'm I'm, I'm just striving to be great and uh, and I just I learned that it's a process. You know, there's gonna be times where it's ups and downs and everything's not gonna be uh, uh, what you want it to be. So you just gotta you know stay level headed and, uh, and stay modest and humble. And that's what I've been, just been that's what I've been trying to do throughout this whole process throughout this whole season. And I feel like it's being successful so far. I also, a lot of people notice have noticed your offense. How do you feel you're coming along defensively? I feel I'm actually buying into the defensive end. You know, I came to college with a different mindset in high school. I didn't play any defense at all. So uh, uh, it, I feel I feel like. Um, it's just it's just all mental, you know. If you want to like go out there and stop your stop your guy, you could go out there and do it. You know, it's just it's all about effort and and what you put into it. If you if you're gonna let your guy score, then obviously you're not doing what's best for your team, and you're not trying to help your team win. And you obviously have a tough task across from at point guard this week. So how do you think you guys are gonna match up, and what are you gonna do defensively against Carson? You know, I'm just going to watch his tendencies on film. I've been watching him uh, lately. Uh, I watched his games live, and now I, I got, his, uh, got him on film. So uh, I've been watching the guys from Arizona, the guys from Arizona State, you know, and just trying to figure out their games and what they like to do. And hopefully I can pick that out during the game. Do you expect the guard, Carson? Yeah, uh, hopefully. You know, coach, coach may not be too confident in it, but uh, as a freshman. So I'm just going to go out there. If he gives me the opportunity to do so, I'm going to go out there and give him my best shot. Eric, were you around when Carson was looking at Oregon State? Do you remember that? Um, no, but I, I, I did. I probably was around. Um, I'm assuming. But uh, I think what, what happened, he, he committed here and then he went to Arizona. He committed and then decommitted and ended up Arizona State. Oh, yeah, yeah. I heard, I heard about that. They were telling me about that. I mean, it would be good to get them, but you know we have a couple of good point guards here, so it's it's not the end of the world. And uh, we'll go out and play hard against him like he's like he's doing to me. What makes him tough? Uh, Robinson talked about the fact that he has an outside shot this year, so you guys are going to be able to play off him like he said mm -hmm. he have in the past. So uh, what about his game? This He's so fast with the ball. I mean, um, he picks his spot, Grace, and he gets that shot up pretty fast uh, when he's doing floaters. And um, and then if you if you uh, if you help too much, then he also looks for his open teammates, and they can knock down shots. So um, you just gotta um, whatever coach wants as far as the game plan, you gotta stick with that. But uh, you know, he's such a good player, and, and um, he's he's probably he 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 might get his, but you know, if we. Uh, Take care of everybody. Take care of the rest, and hopefully shut him down. Then I think we can come out this win. Ellis, how do you head into this matchup mentally, given that he's a potential lottery pick guy, and as we just talked about, almost came here. Being a freshman, how do you approach that match? Yeah, the same way I approach every game. You know, just get myself mentally prepared to go out there and compete. And at the end of the day, everybody's human. You know, every uh, guys can have are capable of having bad games. So you know, I'm just gonna go out there and, and just play my hardest and def and defend and communicate with my teammates. And I feel like it's not gonna be a one-on-one -on -one kind of game. I feel like it's gonna be a lot of team defense. You know, we can shut them down together, like how 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 we've been doing with these past teams. So I'm not very worried about you know a one-on-one -on -one matchup. I'm just gonna go out there and, and play hard and compete. Well, like Coach said, it was uh, probably one of the biggest games of the year, and, it, and they're going to continue to keep being big games. But um, yeah, we knew we knew that you know, in order to make a stand in this conference, you got to do it against the good teams. And uh, you know, we love playing in front of the home crowd, and we get a lot of energy from playing in front of the home crowd. We knew what was it at stake, and we knew what we wanted. We knew, we know what we want to accomplish in this league. So um, those are the kind of games you got to take care of, and you got to do it at home, and uh, got to do it on the road. But. Um, everybody had a burst of energy, and uh, um, we had a we had a lull at, uh, in the first half. But, uh, we we um, we came back and um, took care of the second half.
you've made some crazy athletic plays in your career. What was your thought about Alice's throw ahead on the lot to Langston? And what were your thoughts about that? Oh man, I'll be, I'll be, uh, I, I, I would love those in practice, and I, I love when we can make those athletic plays because um, we're an athletic team, and uh, we continue, to, we can continue to keep showing it. And um, that was a hustle play, and then uh, Hollis being a point guard that he is, and then get into another athletic guard. So um, that kind of stuff gets the crowd going. That we we all feed into that, and and um, we love we love that kind of stuff. Talk about the energy that Langston brings to the starting lineup. I know he's been in the starting lineup for a few weeks now. So what kind of energy has he brought? He brings a lot of energy, actually. And that's why he's in the starting lineup. And, uh, and that's the kind of stuff that we need. He gets all the loose balls. And uh, he doesn't he doesn't let people get easy layups. Um, you know, those I don't even know if they count those tip-outs as rebounds, that he, that those little volleyball things, that he does that so good, just like Tyson Chandler. And, uh, you know, those those are important. I've missed a couple of free throws short, and he's got us an extra possession. And, um, he knocks down open threes and um, he hustles all over the court. I mean, that's the kind of stuff that we need and energy. And, uh, you know, we all feed into that. You think you frustrated your friend Kyle on uh, Sunday? I don't think he scored. I think he held Kyle the 0 for 7 from the field when he started him. So, you impressed with his defense on Kyle? Yeah, I didn't even know that. that. That was a that was a statistic. Uh, it seemed like Cal was making everything in the beginning, but uh, yeah, I'm very impressed with it, and I'm sure he he uh, wore him wore him down throughout the game. You know, picking up full court and being a strong athletic guard that he is. You know, and I, I know playing against Cal, you know, you got you got to get him to him uh, physically instead of mentally, because mentally he's so tough. So I feel like Langston did that, and uh, it ultimately helped us get the win. Coach said he felt like Kyle Anderson being at UCLA actually maybe helped Oregon State get you just because you're more familiar with the West Coast. Do you think there's any, think there's some truth to that? Yes, definitely. He did. He did have to do with um, me coming here. And he told me about the, a lot about the conference, and he he saw the potential that I had to be a good player. So he said that I could come out here and flourish as a player. And 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 right, as, as of now, it looked like it's it's, it's he's right. <laughs> You guys get a chance to watch the students who are playing on Sunday, the, the Cal Arizona game. And as players, you guys obviously want to play the best, knock off the best. Is it inherently a little bit of a disappointment not being able to potentially go to Arizona and play the number one undefeated team in the country? No, it's not, it's not a disappointment at all because uh, they're still number two in the country and, and they're still going to have the same packed gym when we go out there, Arizona. So it's going to be, uh, it's going to be very fun. What do you guys think that injury of Brandon Ashley? Oh man, that hurts. But um, they're so deep, and um, he—he's a, a stretch four man that can knock outside shots down, and he rebounds and defends. And he's just another six nine, six ten body, or what, six eight, whatever he is. But that's a long body that they're missing right there. But you know, that's a good coach. That's a great coach actually. And um, you know, they're a deep bench, and I'm sure they'll figure it out, and they won't hang their heads, and they'll uh, overcome what they just went through. Injuries have been kind of you know big, obviously with Arizona, and then. Uh, then Woody down in uh, Colorado. Do you kind of feel like you can almost relate to them given what happened with Angus last year and how that impacted everything for you guys last year? Man, I hate injuries, man. Uh you know, I've I've went through one myself and it's that's that's no fun. I mean there those uh these two those two people that got hurt were you know, pretty important to their team, and uh, and it was during the middle of the season when they're trying to do big things for their team and trying to win games. And uh, to get hurt in the middle of the season like that, I feel for them, and I, you know, I pray for them, man. Um, I hope the best for them, and I hope they come back strong.